Hello everyone and welcome back to Charles' this is me, former Envoy Extreme here and here we are back on Farm Simulator 22 after about what must be like a three month or so absence. Uh, yeah. There's a reason for that and there will be an upcoming video if not released before this if not shortly after it sort of gives an exp explanation why I've been absent. So long story short is a lot of personal stuff has been going on for me in real life outside of YouTube. Not so much needing a break, because I've had little breaks before my absence, but then a few personal things came up, and yeah, it's what it is. But man, what a time to come back to FS22 with Silver Forest with the new Platinum Edition of the game. That is the end of the, the first year of Season Pass. FS22 turned one year old today as of recording this episode. This episode should be uploaded. On Wednesday the 23rd, if things go well, depends on how my PC performs in that today. Because I'm reusing this much in the course of the time of my absence, because a lot of personal stuff. But yeah, so here we are, Silver and Forest, and yeah. There's many ways I have considered going about this, but I think, to be honest, the best way to go about it is sort of a bit of a, not quite sort of from scratch, we're using some of the equipment I sort of get when you load up on new farmer and that. But we have acquired ourselves, we bought some toys with us. Not a lot of this is going to help us from the TLX truck and perhaps the trailer. But yeah, so we bought some few toys with us. We bought a snowmobile, bought with us, a little scrambler, a little quad bike, and a six-wheeler ATV. A lot of this is just gets around the map, get around this, especially in the winter, because apparently in the winter, the snow is quite thick, so that's going to be an interesting thing to see. But yeah, so without any further ado, we got some equipment. However, we need money, so. But what we're going to do here is go to the local bank and see if we can get a loan. We do have some contracts, so if we go to our finances. I see, we've got no money, and yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see how we can go about from this. But anyway, so we we'll walk over to the bank. Sure, I okay, let's hop into our little truck here. But yeah, I do love this. So yeah, let's head over to the bank and see if we can get any money. Alrighty then, so just being into Silver Run savings, and yep, we managed to secure ourselves a 100 grand initial loan. Obviously, they were a bit skeptic of sort of like how much they want to give us, but we did say we put our truck and all our little toys and our trailer up as collateral. It's not quite worth the 100 grand, but however. I confident enough that the divine of these, if I fail to make payment, still will seize, of course, our equipment. So, without any further ado, we'll go into our little pickup here and head to our little area. So, if we go have a look, vast maps, a lot of potential forestry opportunities. However, we start off with plots 32, 33, and 36. And I think that is going to be quite key for us in terms of what we're going to do here. So, let's head up here. So, yeah, what are we going to use this 100 grand for initially? One of those things, it's like, that's what I would like to do. However, there's a difference between what we're actually we're able to do, so... Where are we going? Oh yeah, so we're just going around the road up here. Oh, took a little wrong turn here, so yeah. Actually, what? Well, I'm not sure... No, uh, this little property here is, is all of our land, so... We can just go a bit off-road, can't we? A bit trekking along. There we go. And up the path here, and this is where we've got our little farm here. 
little homestead settlement. All the we acquired from someone else, so. I think let's just go. Let's go and get ourselves unloaded here. No, nope, not that. No, we'll come back to that because, yeah, I have some technical issues today with the TLX. Not too sure why, though. So, yeah, like, it's in first gear, but, yeah, not too sure. There's a bug or something I've been having, but, yeah, so. Let's go and get it all unstrapped. So, yeah, here we are, our little farm homestead. We got some timber sheds by the looks of it. Ooh, a nice little Volvo BM. What's that? 100, yeah, 140 horsepower that is. We do have this, however, I don't think we're going to use this because I'm not a big fan of this kind of cranes like that, but we'll give, make it a bit try. What's going to help us a lot is the tree harvester to come up to here, so I think. Yeah, we've got all this timber here, all this land, so... Really, I think, to be honest, the best thing to do... Go into here. Almost not crush the header. And uh, pretty much just head straight to woods and... So we're, we're here. We want tree lengths of about six meters. So we will six meter length logs. And the little spinny bits and we'll go over there. So yeah, our aim is to get some six meter logs, somehow get them loaded up, potentially use the money to get actually how much would be for a good tr truck and trailer setup. So I think that's potentially be a good use of our money initially so if we go for do we want glue troll uh, I think no let's go with that what wheel steps do you want I think yeah let's go with that that's going to be eight grand of leasing. So next we want a. Well, the trailer we've got is okay for transport, but because the wheels are quite exposed, we perhaps want more of a forestry kind of trailer. So Let's see what we've got apart is the platinum expansion because we've got all these winches. Oh, I think something like that. Well, actually, no. I think what we may want potentially is a low loader so that we can use to use some shipping containers for. Uh, what should we go for? So, yeah, that's about 11 grand of our money already gone, so we need to be careful what we spend our money on. However, also, I think if I what I've seen right, because we're doing 6 meter logs, so if we do get two of those. So, we'll go and collect that in a bit, but for now, I think really. We'll just continue on with this. Ignore the bugs I'm having with the Phoenix. Oh, I'm not too sure why I'm having bugs with it. There we 
中午呢啊。There we go. But yeah, I'm not sure where I'm bugs of that. So yeah. Regardless, yeah, we'll leave that be. We'll deal with that later if that causes more issues. Worst case scenario, we'll take the CDD ship and get a replacement if it's faulty. But to be with that, I'm not too worried at the moment. But for now, we're opening it for the big logs, I think. So yeah, I'm going to continue with this. And I think, yeah. So we'll so we want that to be as green as down. So yeah, Let's try to get used to these controls again. So like so. This cup. Clear. Yeah. Not too sure why. Controls here, so. Yeah, we the controls. Ooh, we can tilt the head or. Really, should that be turning green when we get to close to the line? Bear with me a sec. Um, yeah, let's try to figure out what's going on here. That should be lining up. Yeah, not too sure what's going on here. Oh, what? No, no, no I do not want to do that. So yeah, I'm not too sure what's going on there. So yeah, why didn't the controls turn up? Because yeah, I thought we were aligned. Actually, you know what? I think this is actually a good time to use our Volvo, because this has got a nice little winch on the back, so... You're able to get these perfectly aligned up with the gear. Because if we get into a pile, how are we going to load them? That will be something we'll come across when we get to that. So we want pull the winch. Uh, we want to. Object too heavy. Ah, there we go, so R1 and X. L3. There we go, that's what we want. So we want, how do you... Ah, there we go, so we control the winch, so... That's it. Something like that. I think it's getting used to these new controls and a chance to properly fiddle around. So, what a lot of this is just learning as I'm going along. So, it's a bit of slack out. There we go. So sweet news around. Oops. But yeah, in terms of what we could do with in terms of getting these loaded up is perhaps like with our eighty grand got left, there is the GCB taste kit. Yeah, I think, how much is that, the JCB taste kit? See your loader. 50 grand, so... 
Go with a nice black version, what? We're gonna go with that. And then for an attacher, hmm. We do have the CSE pack enabled, so I've got an idea. Do we have the adapter? This steer to front there at all. We'll buy that. And then please say this will work. If this works. Ooh, that's eight grand though. What are you I'm gonna try two things. Let's go with that. Let's go tool. Shouldn't be able to attach to this, right? No. What well, about this? This is taste got paper, but it's just skits here later. Okay, no, nope, that does not work. That's good to know. So we get the adapter. In theory, this should work. Right? Was it just two CSE tools? Hmm. There we go, that's what we want. Ah oh, no, that's the wrong one. Is that the black one or navy blue? That is the navy blue one, right? So, if we do that. You know what? Bear me a sec. Then we get us all sorted, and then I'll bring folks back in a second here. And this is all confusing. So, alright then. And, yep, yeah, figured out everything. We did buy two of these containers, however, we do need to. L3 to open the door. That's good. Because, yeah, we need to go back and get the second container. However, we can't put it on because, well, that needs to be open, of course, to be able to the lock. So, but we should be just gone with, you know, 12 meter locks and a 12 meter trailer rather than two six meters. Eh, not too sure. So in theory, this should just work like fine. So three dogs, not a problem. So in theory, all we need to do oh, is not tip over. So I think three dogs is about the limit, perhaps two. So, that's filling up nicely, but really does the lock lengths really matter? I know Drive 53 done some videos on this, so may have to look at that at some point before the next episode. But yeah, I am happy of how we're progressing here, or at least the potential. So yeah, I think, boom, leave it like that. And yep, I am happy where we're going with this, potentially. Bit early days to say for sure, but... Yeah, so... I'm going to park you. Um, just reach and leave you over there, I think. Like so. But yeah, so that's all off now. Hop back into here, and yep, we are going to continue on with this. Going to make a decent clearance, I'll say. Try to get for the bigger trees where possible. So yep, I'm going to continue on with this, and I'll see you folks when we are done.
empty full containers, but a couple of those struggles of words. Sun is starting to set very soon, so we'll try to get as much as we can cleared up. Turn off. We yeah, also got a couple of piles of wood, but yeah, we have made a very small tent into here. As so what the purpose of this is perhaps extend the farmyard. This is going to be our farmyard a bit. Also, perhaps potentially the canal. I don't know some arable farming at some point. Yes, this is more a predominant forestry map than an actual quote-unquote arable farming map, but. So yeah, we're going to head to the container warehouse. That's where I think we sell these containers. I'm not too sure how exactly it's going to work, but... Yeah, so... Yeah, okay, at the end of the day, it's, it's going to be interesting. A new experience in that. In the second container, there were a couple of odd lamps of wood, so... Interesting how much we can get in total, but yeah, just... So dense around here, a little shack up there. But yeah, so really like and possibility or endless of what we can do here. So what we need to do now is turn right here. Good, and then head up north. Let's uh, go onto the road. Go. So next we need to turn left. But yeah, the whole purpose of the sun is our uh, timber is just to get enough money in so we can buy some productions like the old sawmill and other bits and bobs. Just so that uh, we can start production of planks and other things that we need for the road coaster. Because yes, we haven't really had a good fun look at the road coaster, but perhaps we can have a look at that towards the end of the episode here. Also, if you can find some collectibles along the way, they're worth 50 grand each, so that would be very good as well, but... Oh, there's a train. Well, this will be here. This will be a very good possible investment for us. But actually, how much money do we need? Do you think no, that ain't an active railway line? But how much would it cost to buy this? I do wonder. Sure, is the trigger point for to buy this? So I have no idea. Oops. Is it up here on top? So timber goes in there. Oh, well, that's good, but where is Don't need to have. Oh, see, a pipe. So, yeah, so it's just here by the gate. But, yeah, we need quarter of a million, so that's going to be pretty huge. But what we could do potentially is uh, is there a sawmill down here? I'm pretty sure there is. No, not you. Could we buy this potentially? I'm not too sure. I know this is at some point for timber now, but yeah. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Again, a lot of this is needs to have a proper look into. Oh, don't get to see get beach. Oh, right. Ah, but nope. So, 
do we sell containers here or do we have to load them up onto the train? There is a trigger point here. Nice, that is good. What, 70, 140, 445-ish grand we got there from those little bits of wood. So really, if we can do... If we can find two more, like, two collectibles, and then perhaps from there, we can really start looking at getting sawmill. That is a good chunk of change. Took a bit of time, took a bit of work and that, admittedly, but... I think these pieces of wood we can perhaps sell here. Down there, because I think the timber goes into the lake here, like so. So do they sell here? No. To use this production, you pretty much unload timber here, like so. Perhaps pay off the loan. My timber's floating. I'm not too sure. So yes, it's floating, but I get well, unless we need to own the production facility perhaps? Not... yeah, I'm not too sure now. No idea, but a little bit strikes a little. Actually, w would there be a collectible here perhaps? Yeah, I think whilst we're here, let's have a little quick look for a collectible, because if you can find two, then perhaps we could... There's none here. Well, there we go, that's how we sell loose wood. Again, yeah, not a lot, 800 quid we got here. Oh, I just do like to hear that mechanic. But yeah, no collectibles around here. Was around here. this bit here for? Um, ah, that's where they spawn though, so we buy the sawmill. Yeah, cause I think a couple of bits spawns here, then the rest of it spawns over there. Oh, sure, so I've just got to be up there, collectible of some sort. I've climbed all the way up here and there ain't a single collectible. It's great. No. Chuck you. Dang it, I didn't smash. That must be made some from hard timber. Ouch. Sorry about that. Ooh, that hit my head quite a bit hard. I did, so... I think before we head on down, I'll just see if there's any collectibles around the main farm area. Surely there's got to be at least one or two collectibles around here. I'll show you, I think, uh, realistically one, perhaps. There is only 20 collectibles on this map, and... See if there's anything up here. 
Actually, where does this lead us to? I shall do wonder. Wow, that is a nice view. Over the bridge. That is a very nice view. But then again, we haven't properly looked around much of the map. There's still things like the iron ore and all that. So look at the mine shaft, so plenty of more to explore here. But yeah, just sort of things like looking on rocks. Nope. Cannot see anything. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, what's that I've seen? There's a collectible. What is that? <laughs> Local museum's fans exhibit carved wood, wood sculptures due to the profound misunderstanding these sculptures have been scattered across the entire region. You can help by gathering all 20 of them. You found the owl sculpture. 19 more to go. So yeah, that is nice. So day is getting long here, and I think to run off the episode here, we'll go down and uh, yeah, just have a look at the workers, what it needs, what everything requires of it. So there we go. Hop down here. But yeah, starts with all the other equipment, like, like thing like that. Ain't getting that could be sold. Let's hop into our Lizard RTV Max. I think this is a good little six wheel drive. Is it six wheel drive or four wheel drive and two front steering? I'm not too sure, but yeah, like all this down here to our right, we own this, so I think, yeah, I might as well just get a lot of this curve down. We have got the trailer down here with a second container. Or brand new container. This time it's a 12 meter one, so. There are some contracts we got to do as well. We can't forget those. We need to get this done today. But yeah, here we are at the Roku. One of three. There's multiple little sets. So we need staircase, floor tiles, metal. Planked, long planks, and wood beams. So, yeah, we need the sawmill to get a lot of these. Need the iron furnace to get metal, which I don't think there is an iron furnace on the map. Debris crusher, mine shaft, gas station. Rural farm. Yeah, I don't think there is a mine. Not a mine shaft, there's a mine shaft. An iron furnace, so we need to put one of these down. That's going to cost. How much, how much would that cost us? An iron furnace? That's going to cost 180 grand. Yikes. So yeah, that's gonna be interesting. And uh, yeah. Whole lot more to explore here. We do have some contracts to do. We got two harvesting contracts, tree transport contact. We could do the deadwood contracts, however, I am not going to remove those. Just because they are not worth it at all. So yeah, whilst I go ahead and start this contract. Yes, I know it's reserved off. Orient straw. Let's go and enable straw swap. So let's try to collect some of the straw from this field as part of the contract. But yep, yeah, as we are harvesting here, harvesting oats, I think. This is where I'm going to leave you today, folks. Sorry if this is going to be a bit of a long episode. In future episodes, we'll try to be about half an hour to 45 minutes long each. 
I really can never guarantee that, but yep. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, please be my guest. For what you used to do, thanks for watching. But for now, this will be Farmer Voice Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.